I'm just going to ask you one time, what's good with the people? You know what I'm talking about? It's your partner, man. Who? It's your partner, man. You know what I'm talking about? Once again, on this soggy Sunday, that ain't going to match. You know what I'm talking about? We're going to do it a little bit different. Shout out to penitentiary. You know what I'm talking about? All around the world, man. Make sure y'all go get that stick up in storage now. You know what I'm talking about? Make sure you go get that Funka Diatron in storage now. You know what I'm talking about? Go get you one. You know what I'm talking about? What's good with the people, man? Y'all know we got a classic roast and it's piping hot. You know what I'm talking about? How y'all doing on this soggy Sunday? That ain't gonna never change. This one right here gonna be called Sap Suckers. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> sap Suckers. <laughs> you remember any old people used to say that? Oh, man, get your old Sap Sucker. You know what I'm talking about? You ain't nothing but old Sap Sucker. You know what I'm talking about? All that jive. Because <sighs> that's what we be out here with, y'all. All that jive. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? We're on some real stuff, man. Shout out to everybody. I normally shout out, man, around the world, man. See this thing right here. See, this like my second and third video, man, because I keep messing them up. Hang on to my boom. So now I got to go put some momentum on this thing that we would call classic roast and get it piping hot. You know what I'm talking about? So how's y'all doing? By the time this, this video upload, a lot of y'all might be back to church. You know what I'm talking about? But I hope this video find you in health and peace. Shout out to the people, man. We almost there, family. <laughs> I say, bro, you play too much. You know, it was good with the people, man. What y'all do last night. <clears throat> what you doing today, man? Yeah, that's the uh, seconds I needed, man. Now, listen, we're going to call this one Sap Suckers. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man? Uh, uh, shout out to everybody who ain't never did it but trying to get you to. Man. I think it'll work. <laughs> You. Sap suckers, it goes something just like that, man. Listen, y'all, stop listening to these sap suckers, man. Stop listening to these jokers, man. I'm gonna tell you this, and I'm gonna continue to tell you this, right? Bro, listen, can't nobody ever tell you what the fuck you need to do as a grown person, bro. They just don't know, bro. Like, I can't come up here and give you no advice. I don't know what the fuck that you, how you think. I don't know what the fuck you into. I, I just don't know. I don't know where you live at. I don't know what you done did to people. I just don't know, bro. So it's impossible for me to come up here and give you some advice about what you should do, bro. You know what I'm talking about? So I, that's why this one is called Sap Suckers. Because it's way too much of that going on in the community. And I told you now, bro, all you got to do is have some money or be uh, what they consider popular, bro. And it's almost like that gives you the right to speak on anything, <clears throat> even if you ain't been through it. So you could just uh, become popular overnight, then that just makes you a guru all of a sudden. That gives you the right to speak on anything because you got money and I guess you popular. Hey, you know what I'm talking about? Even though you ain't never been through it. <laughs> Sap suckers. Coffee Chronicles. Yeah, man. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Hey, what'd you say, bro? Old lady. Hey, you say, bro, why do you fuck with it like that? Because if I don't, ain't nobody else here. You know what I see? But on the South Suckers, man. <clears throat> and this is just, they everybody around the world, man. You know what I'm talking about? Damn, bro, you all know, man. Y'all, stop listening to these people, bro. Can't nobody tell you to do shit, bro. You got to figure it out on your own. And I was just talking about this yesterday, man. Y'all going to have to stop idolizing these people just because y'all think they rich or you think they popular. That don't that don't mean you know nothing, bro. It just don't. You feel what I'm saying? <clears throat> it don't mean you know nothing, folks. But stop listening to these people tell you what to do, bro. Because these people, the way the, uh, my whole motherfucking, uh, I'm going to have to get back with you. Hey, uh, <clears throat> but my whole life, I've been seeing people do this, for real. And that's why I tell you, I'll be, uh, it just be, I know how, I know how, I told you, I got the ability to break game down while it's being ran, you know what I'm talking about? So I know, I know, I know, you know what I'm talking about, man? 
So that's why I won't be getting into all that shit like that right there, right? But check this one out. Since I've been living, little kid, I've been watching motherfuckers go grab that Bible. Now, they talking about some shit that don't, it ain't got nothing to do with that Bible. But the shit they talking about, they will go grab that Bible, go to a motherfucking scripture right there, and try to make that motherfucking scripture mean what they talking about, bruh. That scripture wasn't talking about that, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? You just found a slick way, you know what I'm talking about, to add that shit in the end there to what you was talking about, bruh. And there's too much brainwashing in that shit, bruh. There's too much gain in that shit. You get what I'm saying? Because people turn their words into God. And by the end of it, you don't even be following God. You following that person. You ain't even following God no more. You following pastor and them. You feel what I'm saying? You think you following God, but you following pastor and them. You feel what I'm saying? And y'all <laughs> y'all just be crazy with this shit. The sap suckers, man. Don't let these people tell you nothing, bro. Don't nobody know what the fuck you need to do. Now, once again. <coughs> five pop. Because it just always seems like you got to clarify these days. I'm not talking about if you the one out there really fucked up. And somebody in your ear trying to get you on the right path. Right? I ain't talking about that. You might need to listen to them, folks. I'm talking about you getting up every day idolizing one of these jokers. And just letting these people say anything for views and shit. But you you eating this shit up. Now, there's some motherfuckers out there with some good game, too. You know what I'm talking about? Learn all you can, bro. I'm talking about the other shit. You feel me? You know how you know, uh, not all the time, but you you know how you know when this game jumping off? Because it's always going to cost you something. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> That's how sometimes you just know when game jumping off. You get what I'm saying, bro? And it just be game jumping off. You feel me? And what's so called now in this modern society and this world of attention and views and likes and all that shit right here, a motherfucker a hate on you to promote itself. Like a motherfucker don't know how to promote both of y'all. You know what I'm talking about? So if we was both selling milk, you know what I'm talking about? You got to hate on my milk. Oh, man, he got them old cows. You know what I'm talking about? You don't want none of that milk, man. It ain't processed right now. You're going to hate on my milk now. I got the good milk. I got Kobe milk. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? My milk come from the sky. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, bro? Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Hey, what'd you say, bro? Old lady. Hey, you know what I'm talking about, bro? Kobe milk came from the sky. And that's how a motherfucker be, uh, Sap suckers. You get what I'm saying? Stop listening to these people. People. Good luck. That shit just threw me off. Uh, I wasn't the only one in this warmth looking at. You know what I'm talking about? A few minutes on the coffee. You know what I'm talking about? Classic bro. Because you got what you got to understand, bro. Like, say you're just a normal person one day, and the next day you just catch, and you're just the most popular motherfucker in the world. Ah. Bro, it ain't no telling what you might start telling people, bro. And this is what I want y'all to, to realize, bro. These, a lot of these people, and I mean a lot of these people, is giving y'all advice on shit they never been through, bro. That shit just sounds good. You get what I'm saying? No, I don't need no. No, you need it. I said I wasn't the only one. I just put mine in there. You know what I'm talking about? Steam still coming up off of it. <sighs> Classy roast. <clears throat> but you got to realize this, bro. A lot of people up here just just, just telling made-up stories, bro. You get what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck come to their head that sound good, that they can captivate the audience with, bruh. A lot of these people is giving you advice on shit they've never been through, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? And although they having fun, that shit could be dangerous. So I'm just telling you to watch out. You know what I'm talking about? Don't be so keen on it if that's the right word. You know, where bruh be using words, our content. You know what I'm talking about? Keen. <laughs> <coughs> Don't be too, you know what I'm talking about? On just idolizing the motherfucker, period, bruh. I just spoke on that yesterday, man. 
Because that's what we do a lot these days, bro. We idolize certain motherfuckers. And the motherfucker we idolize is like whatever they say is right. And a lot of these motherfuckers, bro, you know what I'm talking about? Goofy as a motherfucker. Goofy as a motherfucker. I heard, you know, I already got the niggas channels now and the bitches channels now, you know what I'm talking about? They in the Cold War. Then you got a few bitches in the middle trying to tell, like, everybody just trying to tell everybody what they want to hear, bruh. Because that's what they said, create content, you know what I'm talking about, bruh? Can't nothing people tell you nothing, bruh? Don't nobody know who you fuck with, whether you're a bitch or a nigga, or nigga ass bitch or bitch ass nigga, you know what I'm talking about, sis? <laughs> Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Hey, what you say, bro? Old lady. Hey, you know what I'm talking about, bro? For real, bro. Sap suckers, you know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> Stop listening to these jokers. Coffee Chronicles. I heard a bitch on little nephew about that. Now, listen, little nephew. I mean, I guess I got what she was saying. <clears throat> It's just gonna be the people you be around, bro. I'm talking about bitches, your family members, your your friends. It's, it's gonna be the people that you around, bro. That's gonna determine what you should do and what you should not do. You get what I'm saying? Because everybody is just different, nephew. You get what I'm saying? But the bitch was on little nephew, like uh, man, don't now, don't sit around and follow no bitch lead. Don't sit around and follow nobody lead. I don't know why you always making it. You get what I'm saying, bro? Find out for yourself. Got <laughs> your own common sense, man. And, and, and follow your own lead. That's why it's good to have common sense. But the bitch was on little nephew like, now let me explain something to y'all. Because you got these kind of people. Niggas and bitches. <clears throat> that's why I say it's just the kind of people, bruh. It's depending on how them people think. Now you got people that's just spiteful, petty as fuck. Like immature, just like some kid shit. You get what I'm saying? And them people, that, that's where the mess come from. You get what I'm saying? So, because <clears throat> he was talking about little nephew was hard times and little nephew had to, uh... y'all seen that shit. The bitch that don't never show her face looking at us always behind the, uh, <laughs> the hour tour on little nephew talking about don't be following the bitch. Nigga, you got to get it. You know what I'm talking about? For, I mean, all that's cool depending on what kind of bitch you got. It sounded like she was talking about a prostitute, though. Coffee Chronicles. But nephew was just square, you know what I'm talking about? But anyway, look, nephew, it's just the people you gonna be around, bruh. Your friends, family members, everybody. <clears throat> you got them people say you doing good. Them the same people that's gonna kiss your ass. You get what I'm saying? You could do no wrong. Now, you could have just took care of somebody for fucking 30 years, nephew. You get what I'm saying? And the moment is all bad, a motherfucker gonna act like you did nothing, bro. It's just like going to jail. You get what I'm saying? You could have took care of everybody on the streets. Everybody, then nobody had no problems with what you was doing, bro, when you was grinding. Even though everybody knew it was a, 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 a consequence of going to jail. But then nobody had no problem with that. You know what I'm talking about? With nobody saying stop, with nobody in your ear, nothing, because they like what was going on. The moment you go to jail, bro, you're going, man, you knew what you was doing anyway, and you're going to hear all that shit. They're going to act like it wasn't. Coffee crime. Coffee And once again, that's just people. It just, just depends on what kind of person you is, bro. <clears throat> You feel me? Real is is what real does. That's why it ain't no, bro. You can just live, bro. You'll see for yourself. You'll just see for yourself, bro. Stop listening to somebody else talking about this is what you need because they don't know, folks. Don't nobody know what you need to do but you. You get what I'm saying? So please, and I mean please, stop listening to these sap suckers, man. You know what I'm talking about? Because don't nobody know, bro. When somebody telling you something, folks, do you realize they telling you something from their point of view? Do you realize that? Do you realize, say it's a married couple. Them people don't got no problems. Do you realize other people will come from the outside, even though them people could be happy as a motherfucker, and they will see what's a problem to them that the other people not even tripping off of. That doesn't bother them. Other people come with shit that bothers them. Do you get what I'm saying? 
So they telling you something that you don't have a problem with in your marriage. But they trying to they trying to make a problem out of it because this would bother them if they was in a marriage. Y'all better stop listening to these sap suckers. You get what I'm saying? And that's just where we get into in society. We living off everybody else's uh, opinion. We need everybody else <clears throat> to agree with what we doing to feel like it's approved. That shit's just crazy, bro. I remember when I was first, I'm talking about when I first, like a, I don't even think two weeks, three weeks, maybe a month on this shit, right? And a motherfucker tried to tell me. Go to these other sap suckers and jokers' lives. Send them super chats and shit. And by you being in their comments, they have, <clears throat> why would I? That didn't make no sense to me. I wish the fuck I would pay somebody to fuck with me. That, that don't make no sense, bro. You know what I'm talking about? That, that shit didn't make no sense to me. Why the fuck would I do that? I get my own self there, bro. What the, what the fuck? That, that shit's so boozy, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Fuck you. Fuck you. Did I need to give you some money to pr promote me? Shot my channel out on him? Nigga, fuck you. <laughs> nigga, you know what I mean, nigga? Fuck, I need, like, that shit didn't make no sense, but that's how people think. They actually, now that might be a good idea to somebody. I can go over here and I can get popping and I can, man, fuck that. You gonna watch me or you not, bro? <clears throat> I ain't doing that shit. The fuck I look like? I told you I'm big enough to do that shit myself. The fuck I look like uh, over here being in fake kicking it with you, sending you money and shit, shot my channel out, bro? That shit hella boozy, nigga. Hella boozy, nigga. That's just like, <laughs> I seen some shit like that years ago. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That shit is just hella boozy though, bruh. You get what I'm saying? It is. You feel me? I didn't think that was no good idea. Stop listening to these sap suckers about what you need to do to get there, bruh. Because you can get there however you see you can get there. You get what I'm saying? These other jokers never even seen, like, you got to realize you getting advice. Like, say you, you a mechanic or something. Why would you get advice for a motherfucker who don't even work at AutoZone, bruh? Somebody just come up and say, I think you're doing it wrong. This nigga don't know nothing about Why would you take that advice when you know how to do it? Coffee Chronicles. I told you, <clears throat> we didn't just create a, a society of the opinion. You know what I'm talking about? We living in the book of rationalizations for all you church people. That's what we didn't create it, bro. A society of opinions. To no matter how a motherfucker feel or what the fuck he's doing, you got the right to come get your motherfucking opinion on it. You just do. <clears throat> you do. So right now, if a nigga was in a household and they just came to the store, you know what I'm talking about? Like how the nigga fired on the bitch in the elevator. Now you just got your right to, oh, that was so cruel. You don't know what was going on, bro. Everybody in America probably would have did the same thing. But we get to sit back and talk about what we wouldn't have did when we wasn't there. You know what I'm talking about? Let somebody slap the shit out you. You know what I'm talking about? When you in flats. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You got on your Sunday's best. Let somebody throw some drink on that shit at that moment while you on like shit and see how you feel. <clears throat> you don't know. So if you ain't never, that's what I'm saying. That's what we created a society of people who's never been in situations, but they can get an expert opinion on it. Stop listening to these sap suckers, bro. These people ain't live life. And when I say live life, don't get that Mr. Strew with like jail and all. No, I'm not talking about none of that shit. You would never have to ever have been in jail and you could live life like a motherfucker. It's just about all that adversity, all that shit that could happen. You feel me? If you didn't been through a bunch of that shit, you didn't you didn't live life. No matter what it was, bro. Just a bunch of that shit, that Murphy Law shit, whatever can happen, can happen. If you didn't been through a bunch of that shit, you didn't live, bro. Cause you see how this motherfucking life is, nigga. Anything got happen, nigga. This shit like the <laughs> Twilight Zone, bro. Anything got happen, nigga.
You know I me? Mean? That's who, that's who, that's when you gonna find out who you is anyway, bro. When you come up against some some adversity, bro. That's how that's how you gonna find out what you'll do. You don't know if you a snitch or not. You don't. Until you're in the car <laughs> with some niggas that just did a murder, bro, and everybody go down for the murder. You feel me? Or they looking for you for something that you know what I'm talking about? You don't even know what you'll do. You know what I'm talking about? But you quick for saying what you would have did in that situation on another 48 hours. You talking about how they are told. That shit just crazy, bro. So I'm just telling y'all stop listening to these sap suckers, folks. Because don't nobody know what the fuck you should do. Don't nobody know what the fuck you into. Don't, don't nobody know. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Only you know, bro. So only you know what you need to do, folks. And that's even if you fucking up. Because anybody, everybody that's fucking up, bro. You know deep down in your side, uh, like in yourself, you need you need to do better. You feel me? So you know that within yourself, bro. You ain't gotta listen to nobody else tell you what the what you need to do and all that, bro. Cause nine times out of ten, you taking advice from somebody who just guessing they self. You know what I'm talking about? For real. For real, bro. Tell you this this life, bro, is it's just not long. It's not. So what you do with your time, bro? I used to tell my daughter this all the time, nigga. What you do with your time is what you gonna do with your life. That's on you, bro. Sis, nephew, sis, old man, old lady. That's gonna be on you. So you can sit here and listen to another motherfucker if you want to, bro. That's why I don't really be trying to tell people. To do shit, because that shit kind of dangerous, bro. And I told you the way the real is now. Y'all look up to anybody that they deem popular or got money. And y'all y'all act like they word is uh, Jesus itself. You just will. All the motherfucker got to do is come up here. Y'all don't know if the money real or nothing. Just come up here, flash in a bunch of stacks and shit, and tell y'all now. And he got, your, he got you captivated. Because in your mind, oh, he must know what he doing. Because he, you know what I'm talking about? That's the new magician shit. You believe that shit if you want to, man. Just saying, man, y'all better stop listening to these sap suckers. Find your own motherfucking way. That's the only way you're going to know for sure. <laughs> for real. But what do I know? Only you. Couple four fours, fives. And with that one right there, man, you don't remember nothing else, man. Always remember, it don't cost nothing. Just to show a little bit of that love.